What's up guys, Tamar Action here. I've already done the unboxing and review of the iPhone 11 in our channel, but this video is different from those because it's all about how the iPhone 11 aged after 6 months of use. Perfect. Perfect. Ever since I bought the iPhone 11, it's always been one of my phones that I use on a daily basis and there are things that I really like a lot and also there are some things I wished were better. So first, let's check all the things that stayed positive over the course of time and in that, the first thing is the cameras. Well, you might have probably seen some of these types of shots in our bike videos and that all came from the iPhone 11 and all of that was captured without a gimbal and it's also done using my not so very steady hand. I mean, the reason I prefer the iPhone for such shots is because one, it's crisp quality and two, it's very smooth stabilization. This phone is still the best in terms of taking videos and there is no competition for it. And about photos, I would say it's in the top three. The main sensor can capture great shots in almost all lighting scenarios and about the ultra wide angle camera, even though it's not the best, it still does its job pretty neatly. And that's the reason I said I still love the cameras and that's one of the things that has aged pretty well. Now about the front camera, it's also a great one with better field of capture and also with better quality photos. But I wouldn't hype it like the rear camera because during this period of time, some of the newly launched phones does offer better performance with the front camera but about the whole camera experience, it's without doubt still great in the iPhone 11. Well that's good news and the even better one is actually the performance. I know it's an iPhone and usually even a 4 year old iPhone does stand neck to neck with some of the newly launched budget Android phones and here this being Apple's latest tip in a phone, it doesn't slow down a bit. Let it be gaming or casual browsing or even exporting a photo, it's a simple task for the A13 Bionic in the iPhone 11. Well, there is one thing to note here, which is I never ever resetted this phone after setting it up for the first time I took it out of the box. And here I did install and delete plenty of apps and games and still the performance has been the same as it was out of the box. In short, it's still excellent. The 4GB RAM available is more than enough for iOS and here 10 to 12 apps do stay open in the memory. And even if it needs any reloading, it's done instantly. And also by the way, the variant I bought is the base variant, but still I do have etiquette space left and it's mainly because I do store majority of the stuff in cloud and hence it's not an issue for me. But if you're looking to use it for two to three years, I would strongly suggest to get at least the 120 GB variant. So two main things that matter with the phone did age really well and let's move to the next thing that has aged great and that's the battery. The battery used here is a 3110 mAh battery and even if it's not massive in size, but the optimization is excellent and also the spec here are not power hungry and therefore battery life is an easy one day with heavy use and two days if it's average use. That's pretty great for any phone and here this has been the same from the first day till now. But one thing that's not great right out of the box and that's the first thing I didn't like with this phone and it is the charging speed. The default charger in the box is a 5 watt charger and it takes approximately two and a half hours to fully charge the phone. Well, the phone does support fast charging and it is sad Apple has bundled a basic charger with the phone. Now there is another factor which as of now feels like it could have been sharper especially for the price and it's the display. The display size is 6.1 inches and the resolution on paper looks very much backwards. But the real thing is that while using it, well the display panel by itself is a good one with accurate colors, neat viewing angles and great quality. But sharpness is something that has to be considered and here because of the lower resolution, I did start to notice it after comparing it with much sharper displays. Well, that's something I felt Apple should have improved because for the price they are charging it, it doesn't matter if it's an IPS LCD panel, but they should have improved the resolution. Well, I still think from a normal distance and also if you're not pixel peeping, this display is still great, but when you put it side by side with much lower priced, higher resolution AMOLED screens, then you'll start noticing it. But again, I would like to stress, if you take pricing out of the equation, this is still one of the best LCD displays available even as of now. And since we have been touching on pricing, that's another thing that has become a negative point for this phone. Well, to be precise, the pricing in India. In US, the pricing is still the same as it was from the beginning, but in India, it has gone up because of GST rate hike, which I know is not being controlled by Apple, but still I feel they could have done some price adjustments to maybe keep it to the same price for what it was launched. And for your reference, this is the new price list of all variants with starting price being 68,300 Indian rupees. Well, after six months of use, there are just some things that started to look bad, but like I said in the beginning, the core things like camera, performance and battery is still holding great. And some of the other factors like design has also aged really well. My usage pattern is always with a tempered glass screen guard and about case, I just alternate with and without it. And during this period of time, the back glass and also the aluminum frame has aged properly. The red color is still holding fine without any noticeable scratches and also all the buttons work as it was from the beginning with the same tactile feedback and about the lightning port, it has also held up well. And about the back glass, again, it doesn't have any visible scratches and also this matte camera section which actually comes in contact all the time is also scratch free and same is the case with the camera lens and ring around it. But here, I will always recommend to use a case and a tempered glass screen guard. 
Then about the speakers, there is a dual speaker setup here with the audio output still being crystal clear. And about loudness, it's on par with other flagship phones. And now coming to the earpiece, it's also another hardware that has stayed same from the beginning. Cords do sound clear and the microphones also work well. Well, I was a person who preferred fingerprint analog method, but after using Face ID for over six months, I do like this more because of that extra convenience. Well, there are certain issues with it relating to the angle of scanning, but still, this actually feels like a better method after using it for an extended period of time. And finally, about the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and all other connectivity stuff and also cell reception, all of it had stayed same throughout the course of usage with certain versions of iOS creating slight hiccups at times, but more or less, Apple did fix it. And here, the iOS version at present is pretty stable with lesser issues, and I'm happy about the fact that this phone will be getting updates at least for the next three years. So that's everything about the iPhone 11 after six months of use. Apple products does age pretty well in majority of the areas and here the iPhone 11 story is not very different. It's still a phone that is playing well with its competitors, but surely there are trade-offs, but the advantage you get is that this is a sure future-proof phone based on software and performance. Well, as of now, if you want the best possible features with all the fancy stuff, you have other options from Samsung and OnePlus, but if you're a person who want iOS or if you want a device that should last you well for minimum three years, the iPhone 11 is still a better option. And also, by the way, the iPhone 11 has IP68 water resistance, and also it does support wireless charging. That's all for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, please do hit the like button, and also please don't forget to subscribe. See you again in the next one. Till then, bye.